Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, following on from Google's Pixel 8 event, as you can probably already tell from the title of this video, the public version of Android 14 has finally dropped. So for those of you lucky enough to have a Pixel device, just simply head to your phone's update section. But here right now, I thought I'll share with you guys my top picks of some of Android 14's best features that you guys can look forward to. But before we get started, if you guys want to grab yourselves these live wallpapers, just simply head over to my very own Epic Live Wallpaper app, where you can grab it all for free. Now first up, right out of the gate, Android 14 brings with it a game changing evolution to the Android experience, the ability to drag and drop both images and text from one app to another. So instead of relying on selecting everything, hitting copy, loading up the second app and then pasting it in, now you can straight up grab, drag, open the second app and just drop it in. I mean you are going to need some level of dexterity if you want to do it all with one hand, but it kind of does make a bit more sense using two. Either way, it's definitely a step in the right direction and hopefully Google will be able to take things even further and allow us to do it all with just one single finger. I mean regardless, it's an awesome feature that I for one will definitely be using on a regular basis. Now those of you who've touched root modules and even customized your phones over the years, I'm sure have come across the idea of flash notifications, whereby anytime you receive an app notification, your flashlight goes off. Well, now it's built in right into Android 14 itself. Just simply head over to the accessibility section and you'll find it here. So now you can just leave your phones face down on the table and you will discreetly get notified anytime you receive a notification. Or alternatively, it also gives you the option to have your screen flash a color. I mean this option is definitely quite a bit more distracting, but maybe a handful of you might find it useful. Now whilst we're on the topic of accessibility, I also have to mention that now there's also a brand new quick access tile to quickly change up your font size. Now this one is going to be perfect for those of you who have older members of the family. So anytime you hand over your phone to them to read an article or news clip it or whatever, you can just hit this toggle and increase the size to make things a lot more easier for them to see. I mean, if you're your family's IT support, this is definitely a toggle that you guys want to keep on hand. Now time for the biggest change in Android 14, especially for Pixel users. The ability to fully customize your lock screen experience, which of course has been around on other phones such as Samsung devices for quite some time now. So it's about time that the rest of us get to experience the same thing. Now by simply long pressing on the lock screen, you'll see this brand new customize option. Here you can not only customize the lock screen, but also the home screen as well. So now on Android 14, you'll be able to select from a handful of clock faces, customizing their colors to match your home screen. And if you find that the lock screen clock is too distracting for you, you can always switch it over to an alternative smaller take. I mean, it definitely doesn't give you nowhere near the customization options as Samsung's Good Lock app, but I do have to say it's definitely a step in the right direction. And personally, because of all my live wallpapers, I love this out of the way vertical option. Now this next one is tucked away within Android 14's developer options. Say hello to predictive back animations. Now currently this one only seems to be working within the settings app itself, but it might be something that Google actually rolls out across the board in the future. Just simply hold down the back gesture and you'll be shown a preview of the screen. So before you actually head back, you can quickly peek at that screen. Now if Google decided to fully roll this out across all applications, this would definitely be the most useful feature within Android 14, but it just seems like they're testing it out for now. Now of course Android 14 is Android literally at its best, with a ton of subtle animations added in throughout the OS itself. Such as when you plug your phone into charge, you now get this circular orb that appears around the battery indicator. And when you tap on the lock screen icons, they actually shake to say it failed. And even when you hit play and pause on your music, there's a subtle wave that goes across the album art. These little animations definitely do stack up. Oh and of course, it does come with its own Android 14 easter egg. But what do you guys think? Let me know what's your favorite features of Android 14. And as always, if you guys want to see more like this, Android customization tips and tricks, as well as home screen setups, make sure to like and subscribe. And see you guys next time on Into the Parkiverse.